Hey everyone, it's Jack here from My Collect Apple, and shoot me dead, but today I am not reviewing an Apple product, I'm actually reviewing a Razer product. Now, despite the channel's name, I've always intended this channel to be a bit more technologically diverse, so uh, I would always have planned to uh, maybe review stuff from other companies, not just Apple, although the primary focus, rest assured, is still on Apple, hence the name, I Collect Apple. Now today, yes, as I said, I'm reviewing a Razer product. Now it's the Nabu X Smart Band. Yes, as you're probably aware, a few weeks ago I got an Apple Watch. So you might be thinking, hmm, why have you got a Smart Band? Well, these cost fifty pounds each, and uh, Razer were doing buy one get one free. So I bought two and split the cost with my friend. So I thought, why not? I wanted the original Nabu when it was sort of announced last summer, before we saw the Apple Watch or the iWatch as it was known then. And it's come a long way since then with the Nabu X being the source of second generation. Although the big difference here is, well, besides a complete physical redesign, it has no screen. Which I quite like because my watch will do all that for me. So I'll tell you a bit more about it as we go in. But first off, I'm going to unbox it. So let's take a look around. Uh, on the front, in a nice glossy, shiny writing, we have Nabu X Smart Band. We have a Razer logo up here. The packaging is a bit cheap for what I would expect from a Razer product because Razer are like the apple of gaming. They make nice things, but let's be honest, they're a bit overpriced. But as a result, you tend to get nice, stupid little things like the packaging. Uh, but it's a bit cheaper, but for only £50, I'm not too surprised. It works via Bluetooth. Uh, it's low-energy Bluetooth, so uh, that's good. Uh, it gives you some minimum system requirements. It works with Android and iOS. Android 4.3 is a minimum for um, Android, and I think it's iOS 5 minimum for iOS. I'm not too sure there, but it'll work with the latest devices. It tells you what's in the box. We've got a Nabu X USB charging cable, which apparently you can't buy replacements of yet. So if you buy one of these, be very careful with your cable. And we obviously have the important product information. On the back, it tells you what's going on. So it tells you it's a Nabu X. It gives you notifications. You're going to need an app, which you can get on the Play Store or the App Store. Fairly logical. And it tells you a bit about it. So we got discrete notifications with different LEDs for what's going on. You sort of got to learn which LED means what. So you can customize them. You can have a LEDs for alarms, notifications, uh, calls, text. You can set them up in the app. It also has a lot of activity going on here. So, for example, when you can't wear your Apple Watch or you don't feel comfortable wearing it, for example, playing a sport, this should take a bit more damage than the watch or seeing as the watch is like £500 versus £50, you'll probably be a bit more willing to have this damaged and take the risk. So it will track your fitness when you don't have your watch. And above all, something that the Apple Watch doesn't do because the Apple Watch needs charging on a nightly basis, this has a five to seven day battery life. So this can be used for sleep tracking. And it also has a lot of social features like band-to-band -band connectivity. So when you uh, enter a room with someone else that's wearing one of these, it will give you a little vibration to tell you someone's nearby. When you do a high five, which used to be a handshake on the original generation, and you have the app open on both your phone and the other person's phone, it will transfer your social media so, uh, names, so Steam name, Twitter name, uh, Facebook account, all that sort of things. And down here we have all the tech specs. So we've got our battery life, five to seven days, with 30 days of standby. It tells you about the strap. It is water resistant. I will be wearing this in the shower. I doubt I'll take it swimming. But up to one meter for 30 minutes. So it's fairly decent. But yeah, as I say, in the shower, no problem. But I wouldn't want to really take it swimming. Uh, the sensor module actually detaches, so we'll get to that in a bit. It tells you about the three LEDs and all the sensors. So you can read that now if you want, but I will go through that when we get it out of the box. So to get into the box, I've just cut along the back here. There was a single piece of tape that I just cut along with my knife here. So uh, now all we do to get into it is we lift this tab up and then pull a tab down at the bottom and sort of take it by our hands and slide it out. We'll lift this tab up to stop it scuffing the band. And there we have it. So we will move this out of shell away and move it back into the center. Here we have our wristband um, on top, wrapped around a piece of plastic, a bit like how the Apple Watch was packaged, to be honest. So we will put that aside because we'll come to that in a minute. But now we're going to look at the contents of the box. So we have a traditional green and black packaging, as for most Razer products, as they're their signature colours. Uh, very vibrant green here, and a black back, which we've looked at already. We have a little tab saying live smarter, so we're going to lift that up. 
And here we get the sort of Razor style documents, a bit like Apple. So uh, put that away with our charging cord, we'll get to that. So we're just going to move this tab off. And uh, we've got our important product design telling us a bit about the Razor Nabu and like the design thought behind it. Uh, you can read that now if you want to, but I will take a look at that later. And it has a picture of the Nabu on the back. It's sort of like a certificate, I guess. And here we go. This is a setup guide, I'm guessing, which is telling you download the app and how to connect it and all that. So I won't go through that now, but I'll obviously have a look at that before setting it up. And here we have one Razer sticker. In the bottom of the box, we have a USB cable with a unique charger. Here we are. This is what charger it uses. Never seen one of these before. <laughs> Great. Yet another charger to carry around. As you can see, it obviously doesn't come with a wall plug, um, which is fine because it's more of a smart band. You don't really need a plug. It will work with any uh, plug. So like my Nexus 7, I can use that plug or an Apple plug, or I could just plug this into my computer or my laptop to charge it. It's a very nice cable, very razor-like with the green and black. So uh, last but not least, we've got to take a look at the band itself. So we'll remove it from this packaging, which looks fairly simple to be honest. We just slide it off. Yep, simple, like I thought. And this is the band itself. It's very nice. Um, it's very f flexible. We've got no sort of problems bending it around, which will be good. It means it'll probably be pretty comfortable. We've got two pins here going on. Sorry, I was off the camera a bit there. Which secure it to this strap. It's meant to be one size fits all, so if you've got really skinny wrists or slightly larger wrists, it should fit you pretty well. And of course, on the back of the strap, which is very nice, we have a Razer logo. On the back, we have a little information on the module about the band. And we have our charging port, so our charger just connects in like that. So it's an unusual plug, but I think I'll get used to using it. And just like this, the band detaches from the sensor module. And I'm not sure why you'd want to do this, but I guess maybe eventually they'll offer uh, replacement bands. And uh, this product is also available with a green band and a white and gold band. So maybe you'll want to swap around your bands eventually. But for now, I don't see much point in taking this out. Maybe for cleaning, whatever. But you can just simply remove it and simply pop it back in. Okay guys, I'm now going to go charge and set up the band and I'll give a brief overview of it to end off this video. Just for I mention, as I've seen here in the booklet, it says the minimum system requirement for an iOS device is iOS 7. Sorry, I said 5 earlier, I wasn't sure, but there you go, it's iOS 7. So right now I'm charging the Nabu X, I have connected to my laptop up here via the USB port, fairly simple. And this light, one solid light and one flashing, shows me that the battery has got between 33% and 67% left. Uh, it says the charge time for the Nabu X should be around 2 hours. Okay, so after having the band on for a little while, my only problems with it are, it's a bit uncomfortable compared to the, like, Apple Watch. It was a little difficult to get on, but, like, the watch, I'm fairly sure after a while I'll develop a technique that makes it easy to put on. And, uh, also, when you move it up and down your wrist or it slides about, uh, the strap behind, the strap that's tucked underneath there, unlike the watch, it doesn't have, like, a place to rest, so it has a tendency to slip out of place, which can get a bit annoying. But, overall... I think I'll get used to this, so uh, yeah, I really like this product, and for £50, definitely worth it. So as you can see on the Bluetooth in the settings of my iPhone, you can see my device is connected, i got my Apple Watch and my Nabu. But right now we're going to scroll over to the Nabu X utility app, which you can download from the App Store, which lets us have a look. So I've set it all up, and here is the personalization screen. So you can see a little bit about the device, you've got your battery level, you can change what the band double tap does, so when you double tap the band it can show you any of these options. Uh, then you can customize all your lights and your do not disturb mode and your vibration um, style, so whether it's low, high or medium. Uh, one thing I would say about that vibration is because it's actually a vibration, not the haptic sensors in the watch, it's actually a lot more disturbing than the watch, uh, which is a shame, but I'm not expecting them to put uh, a taptic engine in for haptic rather taptic's the apple thing <laughs> uh, for this sort of price i don't expect it in the device uh, you can set an alarm which could be useful seeing as i'll be sleeping with this so uh... it'll sort of wake me up we can have sleep mode which uh... will uh... 
track your sleep. So if you set this up, you can set, select hours you normally go to bed, and if it detects a lack of movement during this time, it will assume you're sleeping. So that's how it tracks your sleep. And the social settings, you can add in your Twitter name and all that, so when you do a high five or a handshake, it will transfer that data. It also, as I've already set, I've already set this up, but you can have it feed back to the health app on iOS 8 and later. So you can have um, your sleep patterns and your activity all on the dashboard in the health app, which is really cool. So that is it, everybody. Um, thanks for watching. First non-Apple unboxing, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll be back again soon. So uh, bye for now.